Hey YouTube, my name's TJ and today I want to show you a quick, easy way to winterize your pressure washer. Let's get going. Alright, some things you're going to need for this project. I've got a bucket, a short length of hose, we've got a funnel, a uh, needle nose pliers, and then I've got our RV antifreeze uh, and a stand to hold the hose. Now if you don't have a stand, you can just have a uh, another pair of hands to help you out. First thing I'm going to do is take the hose and the wand and try to get out any water that's left over. Now if your pressure washer is equipped with a soap reservoir, the next thing you're going to do is disconnect the soap line and drain any soap that's left over in the reservoir and the line into a bucket. Once that's done, replace the line. Then fill the reservoir with a little bit of antifreeze. Next, we're gonna hook up our hose and wand back to the pressure washer. And then we're gonna take that short length of garden hose and connect it and run it to our stand. With that on the stand, go ahead and put in your funnel. Now I had a funnel that was a little bit too big, so I had to grab a different one. With everything hooked up, you can go ahead and plug in the machine, but keep the power off. Next, we're gonna fill the hose and funnel up with RV antifreeze. With that hose filled up and the power still turned off, I'm pulling the trigger on the wand to let any air that's out of the line out and then RV antifreeze in. As you do this, go ahead and fill that funnel back up as needed. Now you'll reach a point where no more antifreeze is going to go in because there's probably some air in the hose that's just not getting around. Here. So what, next what we're going to do is we're going to pull the trigger on the wand and we're going to turn the machine on to evacuate that air and replace it with antifreeze. Now you may have to refill the hose up again. Uh, if the machine starts to cavitate, we don't want that to happen. We can burn out the impeller that's in there. So you just wanna go ahead and add more antifreeze until the full length of all of our uh, pressure hose is full. You're gonna repeat this process until you start to get antifreeze that flows into the bucket. All right, we successfully got antifreeze flowing out of the end of the wand. There's no more water left in the system. Next, we're gonna disconnect everything and hang it up for storage. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please hit that thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching.